It's a mask from the Cirque du Soleil Bear guy. And um, I don't know, I liked it because it was one of the more simple ones I thought, but it turned out to be a lot harder than I thought it was going to be with all the creases. But it turned out cool because it got to be black and white instead of all the bright colors. Basically, we focused on design, uh, on color, on the concept of their interpretation of uh, Cirque du Soleil and, and their prior knowledge of Cirque du Soleil. It was just like a fun project. It was nice to kind of do the watercolor because we've never really done anything with that before. It's difficult. <laughs> it's fun, but it takes a lot of patience. Well, I want to go into tattooing, so I love that. I'd like to take courses and go have a career for that. The paintings took them probably about two weeks worth of classes to uh, produce from getting, figuring out which character they wanted to study and coming up with a concept for their painting, what colors they were going to use, um, how their interpretation of that character because they all have very different interpretations of how to get uh, the essence of that character onto their paper. I like music but I'm really inspired in, with art. You can express it in any way, it never has to be perfect, just expressing yourself. It turned out really good, it's really time consuming working with watercolor, and I was really inspired by all the bright colors and the makeup and everything. I saw a lot of pictures of the bright yellow costume that I did, and her bright blue makeup really stood out for me. They've been really successful, I'm very proud of them. Uh, they're very excited about showing their work in the community. Um, a little bit nervous about you know having a piece of your your heart your work is your heart and having a piece of your heart out in the uh, in the public eye is a little bit nerve-wracking for some of us artists um, but they're really excited about it and they've uh, they've really learned a lot about um, marketing and uh, what it takes to put on a, a big show uh, framing uh, you know all, all of the things that go into having your work out in the public uh, they've learned a little bit about all of those things when you first start you might get frustrated with it, but once you have the final product, it's always eye-opening for that. Um, I really like watercolors because it's you can change it. Like say, like I just had mistakes on here, and you just go over it with water, and you can fix it and change it. And the waters, like the colors, blend so much better than like acrylics or anything like that. It just turns out really neat, and you can get some really vibrant, cool colors.